Now let's go upstairs right now. We do have some breaking news. The Stu up in East uh, Hollywood there. What is going on? Well, we see it's a fire. Uh, well, Roxy, you can see it right there. We're making our way. Sky Fox making its way over there. L.A. City Fire just arriving. Now, they're saying this is a garage behind a home. This is going to be in the East Hollywood area, corner of Melrose and Normandy. This is some, seems something a little bit bigger. First engines arriving. That's from L.A. City Fire saying that, you know, they have a garage in the back of a home well involved with fire. We're making our way over there right now. You can see these huge flames. And also you can see that two-story home that they were talking about. Looks like an older style home. If this is just the back house or the garage area, that's going to be great. But LA City Fire, they're going to have to keep those flames contained to that area so that it doesn't spread to that older wood structure. Firefighters from LA City Fire Department just arriving. You can see one of them off to the right there in that parking lot area pulling those first hose lines. They're going to start getting water on it. Now, of course, we know that a lot of these structures, they might be calling this a garage, but a lot of times they have these are converted and folks might have been living inside that garage. And you can see that right there. That's the first time I actually saw it, that uh, building completely uh, just destroyed. Uh, right now, though, that backyard fully involved in fire. Looks like they have a little bit of a of a uh, back rack conditions in the back there as well. That's going to be a problem. And those huge trees right up against that wooden structure, those are going to be a problem as well. Now, the firefighters from LA City Fire Department, they understand this. They know this. Uh, Justin showing us a propane tank close by. I don't think the heat from those, that, from those flames are going to get to that tank, but that car I'm a little bit concerned about as well. Even though there's that brick wall right there, those flames extremely hot. Folks really don't understand how the fire can just move around so quickly. Right now, though, fire department just getting here on scene. That firefight just getting underway, and it does appear that that home is vacant at this time. I'm stupid Sky Fox. And one of the other things you, you can see here real quickly, you can see the power lines mm -hmm, mm -hmm. have ignited. Yeah, that's Steve. Yeah, there's some... Yep, the, it, it, that's what I was talking about. The heat from the, a lot of these fires, uh, you know, depending what's burning, and that looks like a lot of wood right there. Those, you're right, those uh, power lines catching fire, they might start arcing. And, it, we, you know, a lot of times we just generalize and say power lines, but it, it could be something other than power lines. That could be cable and others. Uh, just to go back to that car right there. You can see that uh, it's smoking, but I saw, see, you can see water squirting. That's just water touching that car, turning the steam. And that's giving the, that car is really starting to heat up. Hopefully, it won't ignite in, uh, from these flames. But the LA City Fire Department, like I've said many times before, they're some of the best in the world. And these guys are working these flames. Hopefully, they're going to get that contained. And again, we don't know. We just don't know. There's somebody might have been living in that back house.